Hold a moment. Do not create a sound of any kind. There is a very fascinating conversation going on between those individuals over there. I wish to record it for future use. In pen. Hmm. He's going to be married soon. I still can't believe it. Oh, it should sound a lot higher pitched than that. I'm going to be a sister-in-law. Hmm. The other one seems very British in her accent. <clears throat> very happy for the two of them. Honestly, I'm just surprised it took the both of them this long to finally make a move. Well, everyone loves at their own pace. <clears throat> Excuse me. But I totally agree. They could have saved everyone a few months of suspense. Wait a second. Is Rafe writing down our conversation in his journal again? Oh dear. It would appear we've been compromised. Please proceed to rapidly put one foot in front of the other in a repeated motion while moving in my general direction. We must not delay. Make haste. <sighs> oh, it would appear we have lost them. Excellent hustle, my dude. Hmm. My apologies for dragging you into that. It sounded like they were talking about a friend of my parents, so I was intrigued. As a result of my strategic eavesdropping, I have learned that a friend of theirs is getting married soon. I am happy to hear that. For the longest time, it seemed like he'd become a shut-in for no discernible reason, even cutting off all contact from his boyfriend whom he values greatly for an entire month. But now they are past that, and vowed to be wed. How heartwarming. Anyway. Thank you for arriving at our designated meeting point on time. Shall we commence with the studying and slash or lessons on conversation I am attempting to conjure up excuses to get out of? Very well. The foundations of Chimera City, otherwise known as the city with the most diverse population in the world, was laid back in 23002 as a secret project run by- Hmm? You have halted me. I was under the impression we were to study the material for the upcoming test. Is that not why we agreed to meet up? You would like us to study some place more suitable than an alleyway. That is fair. What did you have in mind? The public library. Hmm. Yes, I have heard of the place. A silent domain of countless leather-bound words resting on thrones of wood. Rumor suggests that those who break the silence are forever condemned to a cruel escort out the front door. That sounds... suitable. Although, isn't there a high likelihood we will be forced to converse with other individuals in a public area? Very well. I shall fortify myself by keeping my journal close, and ready to be used for retorts. Hmm? You would like me to entrust my journal to you for the duration of the lesson. I do not think I can do that. I require it to speak. You insist? In that case... Do you have a six-sided dice on you? Yes, the table says to roll a six-sided dice to determine my excuse. If I rolled a 1, then my reasoning would be, I have contracted a rare sickness. If I let go of this journal, I will perish instantaneously. Therefore, for my own personal safety, I must keep my hands on it at all times. Or, if I roll a 2, then my reasoning will be, I cannot give you possession of my journal. It is armed with a special failsafe that will cause it to spontaneously combust if somebody else reads its contents. If I roll a 3, then... Hey! You have abducted my journal. Please return it. We have not gotten to the third result yet, meaning the journal will spontaneously combust if you continue to withhold it from me. You want me to try talking to other people without using my journal? I am not sure I am prepared for that. That journal has all of my prepared answers for all forms of conversation. Without it, 
I am helpless and fragile. You will return it to me once I maintain a conversation with at least one other person. Very well. I see that you are adamant on this approach. In that case, let us begin our voyage to the library. Please lead the way. I will follow you. There... There is a receptionist at the front. Are we to speak with her before entering? Very... well... Hi! Is this your first time here? Good morning. Oh, uh... I think it's the afternoon, actually. Good afternoon. Is this your first time here? This is my first voyage into the library, yes. Can I have a first and last name? What for? Do you intend to use my information for the purposes of completing a document of some kind? Well... Yes, we log our visitors' names into the system so we can keep track of who visited during the day. This system sounds rather dangerous. Can I trust her with my information? Very well. <clears throat> my name is Rave Irisid. I-R-I-S-I-D. Okay. Oh, are you Mark and Hannah's boy? Y yes, those are the surnames of my parents. Wait, have you logged them into your system too? No, no, I get my wine from them. They talk about you a lot. They... do? Anyway, you're good to go. Have fun! Um, yes, indeed. <clears throat> I believe that went well considering the handicap you have presented to me in the form of the abduction of my journal. May I have it back now? Just a little longer? Mmm. You tease. Just let me have it already. You look confused. I was quoting a statement from my parents when they were spending time together while unaware of the fact I was still in the residence. Was that perhaps the wrong response? It would have been better if I had said, may I have my journal back? I... suppose so. Yes, they were being quite flirtatious with one another. Mom seemed annoyed, but amused at the same time. What an enigma. I have not solved the mystery, but I suspect it had something to do with Dad withholding something from her. I'm basically right? How would you know? Were you eavesdropping on their conversation as well? Have you infiltrated the secure confines of my residence without alerting me? If so, I will have to report your activity to the authorities. You were just guessing? Thank goodness. I knew I could trust you. Hmm? Are we to situate ourselves at this table right here? Very well. Do you have any food in the fridge? Oh. Right, my mistake. I had forgotten about that. At any rate, I shall brandish my school notes for you to behold. Ba 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 ba. Are you beholding it? Hooray! I am overjoyed. So, what material would you prefer to cover first? You would like me to attempt to speak to you without my journal first. But did I not talk to the receptionist already? Is that not enough? Very well then. Um, good morning. Not very good since it's past morning. Um, damn, what responses did I write down? Hey dude. What's up, broski? How is it going? Hey sexy? Over here? I... You think hello should work fine. Okay. But what do I do after I greet you? It would be incredibly awkward for me to greet you and then follow up with nothing but a calculating stare and heavy silence. Okay. Alright. But 
Why? I see. I will try that. <clears throat> Hello? How have you been? That's good. I've been very good myself. I ate breakfast this morning. It was very good, just like my mood, which is very good, as I have said. That reminds me. I have a test to study for today. If you don't mind, I would like to get back to that. Very well. See you later. Was that sufficient? For now. All right. In that case, it would be best if we got around to studying now. Tell me, what subject would you like to cover first? General history and information on the city. Very well. Please notify me if I'm speaking too quickly. Be sure to write down what I say in a note of some kind to better assist you in retaining the information. Is that acceptable? Then I will begin now. <clears throat> Chimera City began as a secret development project back in 2302, and it has only grown since. The project was funded and led by project leader A.W. Mugg, whose first and middle name remain a mystery to this very day. A.W. was the first variant to ever reveal himself publicly, and his dream was to build a haven where other variants could live safe from harm while to themselves and others. A.W. constructed a sprawling city with the help of other variants over the course of 20 years, after its completion in 23022, he revealed himself publicly and invited other variants from across the world to join him and his variant crew there. Over the years, several variants have joined the ranks of Chimera City, including, but not limited to, Nekos, Vampires, Demons, Sirens, Wolfhounds, Ghosts, and many more. However, a vast portion of CeCe's population is 100% human, including you and me. Despite this, sub-variants of humans supposedly exist as well, but the terms for these classes are wildly inconsistent, so they have not been made official. The name Chimera refers to the Greek beast with the anatomy of several beasts, which became the symbol of the city and a metaphor for its diverse population. Did you record most of that? Very good. I hope that information was a good summary of what we have covered in class about the history of our city. I will test you. What was the name of the founder? Can you recall? Yes, that is correct. A.W. Mugg. Do you remember what the term was for different classifications of living beings in Chimera City? Variant. Very good. You seem more eager to learn than usual. This is a pleasant thing to see. No, no, not a criticism of you. Merely an observation. Now, do you remember when the secret development project began? Close. It was 2.30.02. Now then, we should move to more specific parts of the city we will be asked about, such as popular areas and exactly how much revenue they draw in, as well as the political side of the city and the variant representatives. To start... I believe you are prepared. In that case, I would request that you return my journal to me, and that we say our goodbyes and depart for the day. Farewell, my dude. Why have you not returned my journal to me? I said my farewell. You would like to acquire nourishment first, but you are perfectly capable of doing that on your own. Why do you require my company to do so? You would like me to come along for the company? That is not necessary. I am sure you are perfectly capable of consuming food without the need to exchange vocal cues with me. Please, return my journal to me and let us depart for the day. What? Did you just call me dense? I am full in volume, yes. Oh. Please unhand me. You'll drag me there if you have to? 
you are that determined to bring me along. Unhand me. I request it urgently. Thank you for coming. Enjoy the rest of your day. The receptionist specifically requested that I enjoy the rest of my day. I cannot enjoy the rest of my day if I am being dragged against my will down the street. Please unhand me, or else she will be cruelly let down. Thank you. Perhaps we should talk, then. There is a bench. Situate yourself. I will do the same. I must say, your tenacity is both admirable and a minor annoyance. I don't understand why you want me to accompany you this badly. I thought by now you would have grown tired of my company. Why are you so keen on attempting to get me to converse with you? I am grateful for the gesture, of course, but countless others before you have given up on me and left me alone. But not you. Why is that? You like me? Well, that is very reassuring. If you detested me, it would be rather concerning why you spent so much time with me. No, you like like me? Using the word twice does not make it any clearer. In your eyes, I am cute? Wait. Do you mean to say you find me attractive? May I have my journal back? I would like to respond, but I'm unsure how. I do not know if I can use my own words. Um, I... Oh dear. I never anticipated this. Th thank you. But I fail to see why. What is it about me that is so special to you? You are... too kind. Then... <clears throat> I was correct in my assumptions prior to our meeting. I truly was experiencing the big gay. At least, I believe I was. Or I am, I suppose. God, why must these emotions be so vexing? I would be honored to have the opportunity to get to know you better before we decide if it is logical to take the next step, but I will try to be a good man to you, I swear. You have wrapped your arms around my shoulder and lower neck. Are you attempting to strangle me? This is a rather cruel turnabout. Do it back to you? If you insist, there, I have embraced you. Wait, remain stationary for a moment longer. I quite like this feeling. I cannot write it down, so please give me a moment. Allow me to come into memory instead. Thank you. So this is an embrace. A hug. I enjoy the feeling of it. It's very reassuring. No, I have never experienced it before. I do not enjoy physical touch. It makes me very uncomfortable. No, please do not pull away. I do not know why exactly, but I do not mind your embrace. Your touch, I quite enjoy it, actually. 
I recall hearing someone whisper something into their friend's ear when they hugged. I did not understand the meaning behind it, but I wrote it down just to be sure. What did they say? They said, Ara Ara. Perhaps that was their name. Did you not hear me? I said they said, Ara Ara. Ara Ara. Ara Ara? There is no way you could not have heard me after speaking so close to you so many times. You seem to be enjoying this. I must admit I am enjoying this too. Hmm? I'm cute? Thank you very much for the compliment. You are very cute yourself. I suppose. I think I would be alright with grabbing nourishment and consuming it beside you after all. May we? We may? Then would you embrace my hand with your hand and not let it go until we reach our destination? Hmm. I'm looking forward to it then. Let us be off.